Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the JSON equal condition that was introduced in Oracle 18C. We'll start by creating a test table with two columns holding JSON data. This will just make the comparison examples easier. We then populate the test table with some data to demonstrate the issues that the JSON equal condition solves. Here we insert two rows with matching JSON data in both data columns. The first is empty JSON. The second has matching name1 and name2 members in both columns. Notice the text matches exactly in both examples. Next we insert two rows with matching JSON data, but not exact text matches. The first has the same members in the same order, but has different formatting due to the addition of white spaces. The second has matching members, but in a different order in each column. Notice name 1 and name 2 here, and name 2 and name 1 here. The next three rows represent data that doesn't match. The first has name 1 and name 2 members in the first column, and name 2 and name 3 members in the second column. The second has name 1 and name 2 members in the first column, and just a single name 2 member in the second column. The third allows us to compare duplicate members. The first column has a single name one member, and the second has duplicate name one members. Using this query, we check for rows where the data one and data two columns have matching data. What we can see is only rows that result in an exact text match are displayed. If we check for rows where the data one and data two columns don't have matching data, we get this. The row with ID 3 has matching JSON data, but formatting differences prevent a match. The row with ID 4 also has matching JSON data, but the order of the members prevents a match. The duplicate members in the row with ID 7 prevent a match in this example. Instead of using a straight equality or inequality check, we'll try with the JSON equal condition. In addition to the exact text matches, we see row 3 with different formatting is now seen as a match, and row 4 with the members in a different order is now seen as a match. This is much better. The documentation states the presence of duplicate members results in unspecified behaviour, in this case a match. Not surprisingly, an inequality test using not JSON equal also gives us a different outcome to the initial inequality check. Now, only the two rows where the JSON data is different are seen as not equal. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.